Mary Ann Hansen, an extension plant pathologist with Virginia Tech, and we're out here on the Virginia Tech campus looking at red cedars on April 3rd, 2017. We've seen several interesting diseases on these red cedars today, um, but one of them is a rust disease called cedar quince rust. We were looking earlier at cedar apple rust, but cedar quince rust is a little bit different. The symptoms that you see with this rust species are these uh, sort of not very obvious cankers on the stems, and the orange or rust color to the canker is caused by the production of brightly colored spores by the fungus. And so you'll get a little bit of a swelling on the branch, you'll get these cankered areas and the twig may die above the canker, especially if the branch is girdled by the canker. And the spores that are produced on this area on the bark are blown over to a rosaceous host. And cedar quince rust affects some of the same rosaceous hosts as cedar apple rust, but it prefers uh, hosts like serviceberry and hawthorn and the symptoms on those hosts are a little different than what we see with cedar apple rust, for example, on apples. So we'll look more at those symptoms later in the season, but this is the spore stage that forms on the red cedar. And these cankers can remain um, productive of spores for four to six years, and so you can continue to get infections each spring. And the timing of the spore production is perfect for the newly developing tissues on the rosaceous host. So the fungus produces its maximum spore load right when the uh, hawthorn or service bear are fruiting and we'll see symptoms on the fruit of those species as well as on the young tender stems. As far as controlling this disease on red cedar, mainly you would consider pruning out the affected branch well below the cankered area and because these cankers produce spores many years in a row, that can help to reduce the spore load for the alternate host.